This is a truck and bus regulation video. Small fleet compliance options. The focus of this video will be small fleets, but first I will describe the basic requirements of the truck and bus regulation. So what is the truck and bus regulation? The truck and bus regulation phases in requirements for diesel truck and bus owners to reduce diesel exhaust emissions from existing vehicles beginning in 2012 with final deadlines in 2023. Requirements include installing particulate matter filters or upgrading engines depending on the vehicle's weight and the model year of its engine. If you choose to take these options other than the regular or basic compliance schedule, which extend your compliance dates, you will need to report. This video is about options available and reporting. The truck and bus regulation applies to primarily privately owned diesel vehicles or those owned by the federal government and includes trucks you own, whether you contract for your own loads or have a leasing arrangement with a motor carrier or California broker and it covers diesel vehicles that are greater than 14,000 pounds gross vehicle weight rating. The truck and bus regulation does not include most vehicles subject to other ARB mobile source regulations such as drayage. Since the requirements vary by the original manufacturer's gross vehicle weight rating or GVWR, you need to know where that is on your vehicle. The gross vehicle weight rating is usually on your truck's door in the jam area. These are examples, and the GVWR is circled. The weight used for this regulation is not the registered weight rating or the gross combined weight rating. Only the gross vehicle weight rating may be used. The regulation has terminology that sounds similar but has different meaning. Pay attention to the following terms. There is fleet size, small fleet, and large fleet. These have to do with the number of trucks owned. Then we have lighter and heavier, which has to do with rate rating. Lighter truck or lighter buses are between 14,000 and 26,000 pounds GVWR. Heavier truck or heavier buses are greater than 26,000 pounds GVWR. We'll go over these and show how they pertain to the regulation and small fleet compliance options. For the truck and bus regulation, a small fleet is a fleet with three or less diesel trucks and buses greater than 14,000 pounds GVWR. The options described in this video are for the heavier trucks in the fleet, the ones that are greater than 26,000 pounds GVWR. These trucks have the engine model years affected by the regulation the soonest. First, let's look at what a small fleet looks like according to the regulation for some fleet examples. It could be a heavier truck and two lighter trucks. It could be three heavier trucks. It could be a lighter truck and a heavier bus. However, this example is not a small fleet because there are four vehicles over 14,000 pounds gross vehicle weight rating. The red X is just for clarity. Heavier and lighter GVWR matter since the compliance dates are different for these two weight classes. The compliance deadline for lighter trucks and buses between 14,001 and 26,000 pounds gross vehicle weight rating began on January 1, 2015. Lighter trucks follow the lighter truck compliance schedule. First up on this schedule are 1995 and older model year engine trucks. These engines would need to be upgraded to a 2010 model year emission equivalent engine by January 2015. There is no requirement to install a particulate matter filter, also known as a DPF, on lighter trucks. The small fleet options that will be described in this video are not for the lighter trucks. However, there are other options available and you can learn more on our website. The compliance deadline for heavier trucks and buses greater than 26,000 pounds GVWR begin by January 1, 2012, and I will describe these requirements. Again, keep in mind the options described in this video are for small fleets with one to three trucks that have at least one heavier truck in the fleet. It is important to remember that you include all trucks and buses greater than 14,000 pounds GVWR when you determine the size of your fleet. So what are your small fleet options if your fleet has some heavier trucks? 
you can follow the heavier truck and bus engine model year compliance schedule, sometimes called the basic schedule for heavier trucks, or use the small fleet options. Let's look at these. As a heavier truck owner, you are required by the truck and bus regulation to follow the heavier truck and bus engine model year basic compliance schedule if you are unable or choose not to use options or credits. If you follow the schedule, for instance, if you have a 1996 through 99 model year engine in your truck, you will need to install a particulate matter filter on your truck by January 1, 2012. Then starting January 1, 2020, you will need to upgrade your engine to a 2010 model year emission equivalent engine. Another example, if you have a 2000 through 2004 model year engine in your truck, you would need to install a particulate matter filter on your truck by January 1, 2013. Then by January 1, 2021, you would need to upgrade your engine to a 2010 model year emission equivalent engine. And one last example, if you have a truck with an engine model year before 1994, by January 1, 2015, you would need to upgrade your engine to a 2010 model year emission equivalent engine. There is no PM filter retrofit required. If you follow the schedule, you are not required to report. Now, if you choose to use the small fleet option, you will need to install a PM filter on any model year heavier truck or bus starting January 1, 2014, then the second vehicle by January 1, 2015, and the third one needs a filter by January 1, 2016. By taking advantage of this option, you are able to delay the requirement to upgrade to the 2010 model year or equivalent engine until 2020 or later. Let's look at these with some example fleets. The first example, we have two lighter trucks which are on the lighter truck compliance schedule with the requirements beginning by 2015. The heavier truck would need a PM filter installed by January 1, 2014. In the next example, with three heavier trucks, all over 26,000 pounds GVWR, you would need to install the filter on one by January 1, 2014 and the next by January 1, 2015 and then January 1, 2016 for the last. With this example of a lighter truck and a heavier bus, the heavier bus is qualified for the small fleet options and the filter would need to be installed by January 1, 2014. Here is an example of a heavier truck and two lighter ones. Again, the light ones are not part of the small fleet option and the heavier truck would need a filter by January 1, 2014. Here are some more examples. Two heavier trucks and a bus. By January 1, 2014, 2015, and 2016, the filters would need to be installed. Engine model year does not matter for this provision. In other words, if you have a 1995 model year engine, you do not need to replace it until 2020 if you install a PM filter according to the schedule. A single heavy truck needs a filter by January 1, 2014. And lastly, two heavy trucks, well, you get the picture. This provision gives your trucks until at least January 1st, 2020 to begin following the regular schedule to upgrade to a 2010 model year emission engine. Reporting for this option. If you're using the small fleet option, you need to report all heavier trucks if any of them have requirements on the schedule. For instance, if you have a 1996 through 99 model year engine in your truck, since you are required to install a filter by January 1, 2012, according to the basic schedule, you will need to instead report by the new extended deadline of March 30, 2012, to show that you are taking this option. Regardless of the model years of your other trucks, you must report all heavier trucks in your fleet, whether you have one, two, or three. For a 2000 through 2004 model year engine, since you are required to install a filter by January 1, 2013, you will need to instead report by January 31, 2013 to show that you are taking this option if you have not already reported earlier. Again, you must report all heavier trucks in your fleet to take this option. Before January 31, 2014 is your last chance to report your fleet if you plan to use this option. 
to take advantage of all options available to you and to give you flexibility for future changes in your fleet and business, you should report. You can report early if you choose to do so. So what are your small fleet options? There are some other extension credits available. You can receive an extension which delays your requirements to upgrade your engine to the 2010 emission standards. Here is how one of them gives you additional engine years. This one's particularly important. If you install a filter on all heavier vehicles in your fleet by January 1st, 2014, those vehicles will have until January 2023 to upgrade the engine to the 2010 emission standard. Remember, you must report by January 31st, 2014 if you have not already reported to take this credit. For those of you who have only one heavier truck in your small fleet, like these example fleets shown earlier, if you install your PM filter as required in the small fleet option, in other words, by January 1, 2014, your truck has until January 1, 2023 to upgrade to a 2010 model year emission equivalent engine because you would also be following the all heavier vehicles credit just described. There are other extensions or credits available. If you wish to review this list, click pause on this video. Information regarding these credits can be found through the Truck Stop website. Likewise, even more information is available at the www.arb.ca.gov forward slash truckstop website, including links to the reporting system and a link to tools that are available on the program page at the same website forward slash diesel truck. And to learn more about how to report, visit the Truck Stop website for reporting training and training videos. If you want to learn more about the small fleet options described in this video, please see the Truck Stop website. Currently, it is linked to our What's New section. As always, additional help is available through our friendly, toll-free 1-866-6-DIESEL hotline. Your compliance with these regulations will go a long way toward improving California's air quality. Thank you.